Hi there, I'm John, here with an update on Visual Studio LiveShare. We're excited to announce that we've started the private preview. For now, we are starting to invite users who have signed up to try out VS LiveShare and will be expanding from here. If you don't see an invite right now, don't worry, VS LiveShare will be coming your way soon. We wanted to show a couple more scenarios for VS LiveShare that can help further enhance your collaborations with teammates. Let's get started. One thing we wanted to start off with was to show some more versatility for VS LiveShare. While VS LiveShare is universally applicable to all programming languages, especially with co-editing, with the initial private preview release, we've made the experience for ASP.NET and Node.js projects even better. Most of our demos have included these two types of projects, so let's show you another language. Here I have a Java project in VS Code that has been shared with me by my teammate. As expected, we can see each other's cursors and highlights. Additionally, as the guest in this collaboration session, I can see all the files in the project. We can co-edit and author some more Java code. Later, when the host debugs, both of our debuggers are attached to the running app. We can then collaboratively debug. This is the first step towards enabling you to collaborate on any project of any language and is available in the private preview of VS LiveShare. There's support for C++, Go, Java, Bash scripts, and so much more. Going forward, we plan to continue to build more support for your favorite languages, ensuring you have a great collaboration experience. We've been covering a lot of scenarios involving collaboration with a single teammate, but we wanted to show that VS LiveShare can be used with multiple collaborators. While we optimize for one-to-one -one collaborations, VS LiveShare supports multiple guests joining a session that you've shared. I have here an ASP.NET project open in VS, and I've already shared it with some of my teammates. In the top right corner, I can see there are a couple guests joined to the collaboration session by their name tags appearing in the top right corner next to the share button. We can all collaborate on this project and do some mob programming. As all of these users are joined, I can jump to anyone who is joined to the project to get context on what they are doing. After doing that, I can jump to someone else or even pin to them to follow their actions in the project. With multiple collaborators in a share session, you can collaborate with your team more effectively with your development. One last thing we wanted to showcase that we didn't get to show during other demos, but I think is a big thing about VS LiveShare is that you don't need to change your IDE to collaborate with others. You get to use your IDE configured how you want. In this case, I've now shared my project with another colleague using VS. Let's show their screen. They use their VS in high contrast mode. Additionally, they use a larger pointer. If I were screen sharing with them and they had a visual impairment, I'd have to switch to high contrast mode and set other OS level settings while screen sharing to enable them to effectively collaborate and help me. However, with VS LiveShare, I don't have to do that. With VS LiveShare, you can collaborate using your VS configured to your needs. Being able to use VS LiveShare to share your code without requiring changing of your IDE's configuration is something we've heard in feedback from some of you that have signed up for VS LiveShare and we wanted to address this feedback and show another use case for that. We've heard so much great feedback from everyone that has signed up for VS LiveShare, and we're really excited that we've started to let people to try it out. We've heard of many ideas for use cases for VS LiveShare, including pair programming, mentoring other developers on your team, code reviews, conducting coding or whiteboard interviews, collaborating on documentation files, and using it in a learning environment with students. We love hearing your feedback, and if you're curious about using VS LiveShare for anything else, let us know. We hope this update gave you more of a taste of Visual Studio LiveShare. Like I said before, we've started letting people in to try out VS LiveShare and are constantly bringing more people in. Happy collaborating!